Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 from Budapest in Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Joel de Messan, who is the chairman of Equinet. Joel, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, SMEs. Now, I understand that uh, um, uh, Equinet uh, is, uh, is an SME or you're involved with SMEs? Uh, we are involved with SMEs. Okay, yes. all right, great. So what role does S do SMEs play, do you think, within the di digital ecosystem in, in accelerating connectivity, which is very much uh, uh, the, the, the theme around here? Absolutely. We think SMEs have a very important role to play. The problem is right now, they're not doing that yet. And that's very much the reason why we're here. So our invitation was on the back of work we've been doing with them, which is to empower them, to give them the tools to participate. So hopefully by doing that, we'll bring them closer to what's happening at the top. And how do you do that exactly? Yes. So the problem really that drives our work is based on a number of uh, statistics, which is that in developing countries, only less than 1% of SMEs sell their products and services online. In developed countries, it's less than 10%. So those numbers, when you consider that SMEs are responsible for 60% of the employment burden, they need to be the first people that we look to, to drive digital participation upward. So the work we've been doing is really developing technologies that take away the burden. Because for them today, what they need to do to be able to sell is too onerous. Create a website, optimize it and all those things. So we're developing technologies that remove all those burdens so that very quickly we can shorten the path to them being part of the digital economy. And, and how have you risen to the position that you've been in? I mean, equivalent, I mean, not you personally. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, about four years ago, I was doing some work with the Princess Trust, which is a trust that is set up by Prince Charles, who is the future uh, King of England. And the Princess Trust works with entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, and helps them build their business. And many of them were failing simply because out of the 5,000 pounds they received in grant, they were using up to 3,000 to build a website, and they could never sell through that website. And that spurred this whole research into what's happening globally. Then we started talking to the World Bank and the World Trade Organization, and the data suggested that it wasn't a problem just in the United Kingdom. It was a global problem. So I put a team together, drew on my network across various fields, and we decided to say, what can we do to change this problem fundamentally so that those businesses do not suffer from the lack of participation, but they can actually compete on par with companies that have the resources. And that's how the project started. Uh, and uh, because I have other responsibilities, I decided to stay as chairman, and there is a CEO, and the rest of the team is in place. Excellent. Now, innovating together, connectivity that matters is the theme of this year's event. Uh, what's, what's meaningful connectivity for you? Meaningful connectivity is one that leaves nobody behind. It's all about people. And we take the view that over the next five to ten years, we have the opportunity to use the Internet to lift communities out of poverty. But to do that, we need to consider two facts. The first one is the fact that more and more people are buying their products and services online. So if those businesses don't follow them online, they will not be part of the connectivity that we're preaching. The second fact is that governments are less and less able to pay for healthcare, education, social security free. So those small businesses are responsible for the base education and healthcare of our workforce, of our populations. In a digital economy, they need to be connected. So for me, connectivity is about people. It's about bringing everybody on board. Talking about bringing everybody on board, this, this event has got a, a lot of participants from all over the world. What's the value of attending events such as this for you? So we've done a lot of work up to this point, and one of the first ecosystems we created was actually the United Kingdom. But this event is the platform to be able to talk to other leaders across the board. So on the first day when we arrived here on Sunday, we literally just got out of the plane and the ministers from Nigeria said, we have to meet you. So we had to go and meet them at their hotel at 10 o'clock at night. And it has been like that ever since. So today, for example, it's a series of ministerial meetings. But this is the platform where you meet the people who make the decision that affects people, that matter. And therefore, here is the place to be to speak to the right people, to make connectivity happen. And what's your message for participants here at Dean Budapest? 
My message is simple. We need to shift from the conversation that digital is about inclusiveness. It's not just about inclusiveness. It's about participation. So we need to shift the focus just a little bit because that shift of focus changes the way we design policy. And that has been my message, and that's also a message that I have on the guest blog that I wrote for the for each. Fantastic. Well, Joe, well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. We look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the future. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And enjoy the rest of uh, Telecom World. Thank you very much. Thank you.